Good afternoon and welcome to the next episode of my series in the landscape photographer profiles and today I have travelled to the border of um, Tipperary and Limerick to a place called Clare Glens and I'm going to have a chat with a photographer, his name is John Myler and John has um, a very unique way of taking photos. He studies mindfulness and now brings mindfulness into his own photography which allows him to be able to be part of the landscape, be relaxed when he's taking the photos and the shots that he's able to get from this um, meditation aspect of uh, photography have been quite good and moreover um, because he's actually feeling the moment more so than just rushing in, rushing out, um, he does deliver some uh, interesting uh, photos overall. So I'm going to get uh, John set up and we will uh, have a chat. We'll go through the same format that I would have done on the uh, previous episodes. If you uh, want to catch up on those, have a look, they'll be uh, here. Um, but yeah, we'll get John uh, set up now and um, look forward to having a chat with him and getting an insight into how he takes photos and what makes him tick. Well, Aaron, um, I, like all, I like all styles of photography, but I suppose you could mainly say I'm at ease in the, uh, in the landscape. I could be found on the, on the coast for sunrise and sunset or in the woodland area like we are here today. And there's just something about being out in nature that I, I really um, has, has my heart, basically. But um, over recent years, I've incorporated my photography into my mindfulness practice. And by bringing both tools together, it's really, it's really enhanced my well-being, my mental health as a person, but it's also helped my photography. I feel it's brought me to the next level that I wanted to be at. Uh, with my creativity and also accepting nature, accepting your surroundings um, that you have in front of you. So, mindfulness photography is where I'm at now. So, if I was to say a style, that would be my style at the current present. And I'm looking forward to seeing where this um, path's going to bring me now that I've started this journey. So, hopefully, we'll, we'll see where it goes. So the equipment, well, I currently have a Canon 60 and it's, a, it's an entry level uh, full frame DSLR. I also have a Canon 6D, which was 60D, which was my first camera, which I learnt on, which was great. It was a crop sensor camera. I still have it and still use it to this day. But ultimately, I find from equipment wise is my, is my glass that I put in front of my camera. And with me today, I have the 16 to 35. It's an F4L lens and that's my workhorse out in the landscape. I also actually carry around my 70 to 200 2.8 for the landscape too, just because it gives me a different aspect and it gives me a different range of photographs to get. Other than that, I don't leave home without my filters. Um, currently, for this image at the moment, I'm using um, a 0.6 just to try a soft grad, just to try and bring down the sky a touch. And I also have my polarizer on, which is taking away the reflection in front of me. So fingers crossed that image will come out. But yeah, ultimately, that's, that's the gear I would normally carry around with me. Okay, well I typically take a shot before I actually leave the house, believe it or not. Um, planning is probably one of my strongest points. And so before I leave the house, I'd, I'd go on the computer, I'd look up TPE. I'm not even going to pronounce the photographer's E. It's going to be down here. And I also use photo pills, which is going to be up here. And they're my two planning apps that I use before I leave. And then when I come to the area, because I try to use my mindfulness practice, I tend to be on my own. And I normally sit there, I would probably actually probably meditate for five or ten minutes. And that brings me into the, into the moment, as a cliche as it sounds. But it does it for me. And therefore, I'm able to adapt to the surroundings. So, um, yes, I'll plan before I leave. I'll relax when I get here. I'll take my shot, I'll scout around. Um, so that's how I typically would plan a shot for any given shoot. Top tips, while learn the exposure triangle, understand it, how they marry each other, which is your aperture, your shutter speed and your ISO, how they all blend together to uh, help you take your photography to the next level. And also, if you're like me and you like to be in the moment with, with grand mindfulness, um, relax, take the photograph. Don't be expect to get the masterpiece every time you get it. But maybe after you've finished taking your photos, pack your gear away, sit back and enjoy the moment that you've just made the effort to get out into. Instead of packing it all up, going home straight onto the computer. So enjoy yourself while you're out and relax.
I remember reading the magazine a long time ago. It was actually after I bought my first uh, DSLR, which is the 60D, as I said earlier. And I bought it in New York. And I thought I was a great lad. And I went to the Madison Square Gardens to photograph a basketball game, which is, which is something I've always wanted to do since I was a kid. I never got one photograph out of it. I didn't understand my camera. Um, I had an automatic mode in the dark area. You can, you know, the shots were horrific. So I came out of there and I promised myself, I'm going to learn, so I started buying magazines. And the one um, advice I read in the magazine at the time was, put your camera in manual, make mistakes and learn from them. So I done that. I learned my exposure triangle that I just mentioned. I understood it. I understood my camera. I knew where my settings were. But I took it out of auto. I took it out of aperture priority, etc. And I put it into my manual mode. And I went out. I could have driven for two hours and made mistakes. And I learned from them. And right to this day, we still make mistakes and I'm still learning from them. So my advice is, put your camera in manual and learn from your mistakes. So um, that was a very interesting interview with um, John. I hope that you enjoyed his uh, approach to taking photos and from the mindfulness that he practices. John uh, is soon to be starting up some um, photography workshops with the whole idea of mindfulness and meditation as the main um, underlying aspect of the uh, photography workshops. So if you'd like to get more information, you can check out John's website. His details uh, will be here. And you can also find uh, John Myler Photography on Facebook. So for another episode of In the Landscape, uh, as always, I'm really grateful to be able to spend time with these uh, different photographers and learn about how they take photos. And I hope you have the same as well. If you do enjoy the content on this uh, channel, as always, please do hit the subscribe button. It does mean a lot. And uh, feel free to share the content today on uh, John and how he takes his photos. Thanks very much and see you soon.